it had opened two years before I think I, I was eligible to go to high school. Okay. Um, it was uh, divided up into <laughs> the third, third, and third, black, white, and um, Hispanic, Hispanic uh, students. Uh, the teachers, since they, cl they closed Carver, the black school, which was you know where my grandmother worked and also my mother had worked and attended. Um, so those teachers were spread out through the district. Mm -hmm. And so we had some black teachers there. Um, in fact, uh, Edwards did the business uh, school, business classes, you know, because she had typing and all that stuff. Um, Mr. Corbin, who had been at Carver, and uh, he was the AV person at South. Um, who else was there? Because Carver wasn't that big, so I can't remember if we just had two, two from Carver. I'm not. I'm not really sure. I'd have to. I have. I have some. Uh, still have some of my um, uh, album um, annuals. Oh sure. So you know, if ever you oh, want to take those, those. Yeah, that that'll yeah. give you a laugh. That'll be yeah. give you a good laugh. <laughs> I graduated in 1960. I think I have a picture of you from Mr. Boozer's uh, yearbook. Uh huh. Yes, right. Cause he yeah. Because we graduated together. Yeah. In yeah. fact, we were in 40th Street together, mm -hmm. uh, and then of course the high school mm -hmm. together. Yeah. I think he showed me a photo of you. You were on the. It was like the girls. Girls like, League. Girls League. Yeah. Yes. And he showed me that. So I think I even took a scan of it because I knew I was going to be meeting. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, and I was very active in really? in high school. Yeah. In all kinds of. Clubs and, pro and no, oh, okay. <laughs> I was not the sports person. <laughs> that was my brother. <laughs> no, but I was in. Um, we I loved the Latin club, the French club. Um, I was in uh, girls' league all through four years, mm -hmm. and um, one other thing I did. Let's see. Well, I had some honors too in there. Like I was Girl of the Month. That's along what it, girl yeah, of the, the month. Girl of the Month with Jim Matson. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that those kind of things I was interested in, but no sports. Oh. <laughs> I went. I had to take PE because we had to, sure. you know. Uh, and I didn't mind some of the things I did, like speedball and that sort of stuff. But you know, athletes. Uh, I was really in the arts in terms of performing because I had been in ballet for about four years, okay. and because of. Um, Good story there. My next door neighbor on Broadway came in. She was a teacher, Julian. Her uh, name was at that time Eloise Hardeman. Mm. And um, she found out that I really was interested in ballet. And so she took me to the Ballet Russe de Monte Carlo for my, when I was about eight or nine. And yet, Phoenix Union High School, which is the only uh, uh, auditorium we had. So it was, that was really wonderful. Um, wow. And then many moons later, I was a student teacher of hers. Oh. <laughs> I student taught under her. And she was amazing as a teacher. Very bright woman, you know, a little eccentric, a <laughs> little eccentric, but very bright. And um, she, she did things like um, the first day I was going to lead a lesson. And I have a tendency, I have to watch out now, but if I'm in a group and I'm talking, um, I will often drop my voice, and you, it's something you just have to learn to listen to, you know. And so I remember when I was trying to do something and reading to the kids, and she said, you're going to have to do it louder. <laughs> <laughs> and I went, okay. <laughs> but, um, but that was a wonderful class that I student taught in. And, and Many years later after that, I went to a special event, and I'm sitting across this the table from this young man, you know, grown man now. And I thought, I know this person. I just don't, I can't remember the name. And finally, he was getting an award. As soon as his name called out, I could see exactly where he sat in the classroom, you know. Oh, sure. <laughs> he was Thomas Donovan, who was a, one of the first black um, um, jurists to be a part of the Superior Court. I mean, we knew we had some smart kids. I mean, these kids were, they were off the charts with and, and their, what they were doing and their conversations and what, you know, it was wonderful to be a part of that. And, um, but he, and I told him, I said, Thomas, we always knew you were, gonna, were a star and that you were going to do something major. And his sister was too. 
she was just, uh, and so he, he caught me up on what she was doing. But when you have kids draw a submarine in detail, and the inside of it, you kind of know yeah. that's not a typical <laughs> fifth grader. <laughs> They're just not quite typical, but they were, it was great. We had about six kids out of some 20 something that were really outstanding students. And so it was just fun to yeah. teach them because they were already primed to go. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm.